Hey everyone, what's up? We have just concluded June, which makes this the middle of 2018, so I think it's a good time to review where I am on my yearly goals. I actually uh, check up on them every month, but I think it's awesome to share with you. I've shared with you, um, I think it was three months ago when I've actually set the goals for this year. I actually didn't start 2018 with goals, but around February, I read the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. It made me super pumped up and made me realize that I need to set bigger goals. And so I set goals around three major things in my life. In my freelance business, I wanted to reach 300K by the end of 2018. Um, for my YouTube, I wanted to reach 100,000 subscribers. And for Prospero, our product business, we wanted to reach 5,000 paying customers by the end of the year. So I was super pumped up. One more thing that should put you in context is that at the, at the same time that I read this book, I also found out that I have a pretty big debt for not paying enough tax for the past two years. And that puts me also in kind of financial stress and made me want to make more money so I don't have to um, you know, reach into my savings and spend all of my savings, which I've saved up for you know, pension and, and buying a house to pay this debt. So I told myself, I'm just gonna make more money and and so I can pay this debt. So I started the, the like three months ago, I was really pumped. I was going full in on all goals. I had three to-do lists in each one of the goals and each of them was so long and intense that I could have worked you know, full time in each of them, it would still be hard, which kind of led me into being very confused, very, you know, slight thin between all the things in my life, which I enjoy all of them. I want to spend, time on each of them um, and actually thinking long term I really want Prospero to be the biggest thing in my life and be the biggest source of income but at the short term as I said because I'm paying some of the debt and because I need uh, you know I have a lot of expenses you know, I've got two kids in private kindergarten I live in Tel Aviv which is a very expensive city and even though I was making, I guess you, you would say that I was making a lot of money compared to other people, because of all those factors plus paying the debt, I was actually still kind of tight with, with our budget and we had to cut some things off. And so the immediate need for financial security made me focus most of my energy on my freelance business, on my consulting, design consultancy. and. After, you know, I was trying to still push for it, but really lately, and especially after I started working with a coach who really helped me to focus, I admitted to myself that it's actually impossible to reach those three goals together. And if I have to focus on one thing, then it's the financial security of my family this year. And so I'm gonna have to put most of my effort into immediate income and building the, the freelance into a design consultancy that can make a lot of money and they can free up more time for me to work on the other things. But in the short term, I really have to invest in that. And so let's start with, with the other goals. So on the YouTube side, I'm currently at, I think, 46,000 subscribers, which is um, where we are right now at the end of June. And that means that if I wanna hit my goals, I need to have, I think, something like 9,000 new subscribers every month to hit the goal. This is probably not going to happen since I the current uh, stats are around something like 3,000 new subscribers every month which is super awesome gotta say thanks for 3,000 new subscribers every month that's that's super great but it's probably not gonna I'm not gonna hit that goal and you know what too bad but it's not that of a huge priority right now in my life as for Prospero Prospero is right now at around 200 paying customers, which means that to hit the 5,000 um, 5, goal, we will need something like 800, yeah, 800 new paying customers every month, which is about 20 times more than we currently have. Currently, we have something like 40, uh, 40 new customers, paying customers every month. And that's growing, but it's growing very slowly. We haven't figured out yet. We know that we have a great product, you know, helping freelancers, you know, creating awesome proposals. People love the product, but we don't, we haven't really figured out the marketing channel to really scale this up. Currently, most of our customers come either from this YouTube or other, you know, posts or, or stuff like that, organic. 
but we haven't really figured out how to scale this yet. And unfortunately, at the moment, I can't put too much energy into that. So we're building new features, we're working on that, we're improving that, but we can't, I personally can't put so much effort into blow this thing up right now. I hope that, you know, once things um, are going to change because my freelance business is going to grow. Some of my kids are going into public kindergarten next year. So my cash flow position is going to change and I will have more time put into Prospero and hopefully blow that up, hopefully next year. But that's where we are on, on those goals. On the financial, on you know the, the freelance consultancy side, currently, I think at the end of the year, I've built something, no, I've built invoice $146,000, which means I'm almost on track. If I want to make 300K, I should have made 150K by now. So I'm almost there. That still means that I have to make, uh, for each month until the end of the year, I have to make $29,000 if I want to reach my goal. That's going to be tough. It's going to be intense. I think it's possible and I'm, I think I'm heading in that direction, but it's still going to be intense. Um, but again, currently that's my main focus. I think I have reached and I've shared with you a, a very clear value proposition. I've started working with other freelancing and delegating some of my work. So that kind of multiplies my ability to execute and focus on the more valuable things um, and really, really grow this, this thing into a bigger and more profitable business, which is also more valuable for my clients. So I think that that's really good. Most of, you know, I had a huge growth, I think personally, taking the, the future business bootcamp and working with Rob, my coach who's been doing amazing work. So I think I'm learning and I'm improving and I'm building it to be a really better business. I learned a lot about business this year. And I think at the end of it, you know, I think that the, the debt was the thing that really pushed me to make more money because if I didn't have this debt on, on me, I was kind of, you know, I was last year, I made, um, I think 200K, I, I was living good. I was like happy with that. I, I could have focused on other things. I wasn't really putting goals for myself. And so maybe I would have continued that way, but having that debt and not wanting to dip into my savings made me grow. And that growth is going to, you know, sustain even, you know, after the debt is gone next year, I know don't have to pay this and the kids don't go to private kinder kindergartens anymore because they're grown up. My ability to make money because I've grown and now I know how to run better businesses and create better businesses, that's going to still exist. And so in the long term, I think that's a win. And I'm trying to look at it positively and say, yeah, it was a good thing because it made me grow and now I'm better for it. So that's where we are in the middle of the year. I'm pretty excited for the next year because I feel like in the last months I've gained a lot of clarity as to what to focus on, how to better present my services and bring more value to my clients. So I'm happy about this. Hope you're having a great year so far as well. Keep on track on your goals. I do that you know, monthly in a spreadsheet. I think that's super important. Gives you visibility to what you have to do to be on track on things. So good luck with that. I'll catch you next week.